welcome to vlog number 20. It's been an interesting week and I love you all and I miss you all and I hope you enjoy. Things in my room are slowly but surely getting back to normal. After sleeping on the floor for six days, I now have my new mattress and my new bedding. And it's all white and so I'm going to have a tie-dye party. I'm going to tie-dye it all and it's going to be an awesome art project and it's going to be a lot of fun. Monday I went to see Jimmy Fallon again and Rosario Dawson was on it and she double dutched for us and it was so cool and then Jimmy Fallon tried to double dutch. It was weird. They gave us a pigs in a blanket for the audience and it was delicious. And um, then they showed this uh, little like digital short thing that, that he made about Glee. But instead of Glee it was Studio 6B because that's the studio he's in. 60, and they sing Living on a Prayer, and um, Abby Elliott from SNL was in it, and another person from SNL was in it, and um, he had like, his announcer in it, like his the comedian that comes out to get the crowd all whirled up, um, was in it, and he was a janitor, it was funny, um, Living on a Prayer, yeah, it was hilarious, it was epic, and then New Kids on the Block, they sang a medley of old and new songs, and it was just, ugh, even though the guys are like, like 30 now, it's, it was still awesome, and I love New Kids on the Block, and it was so cool that I got to get in, my friend and I, Jessica Fuentes, were like the last two people that they let in, so we were in the way back, but still, it was an awesome concert, and then after the show was done taping, they had another song, which they don't usually do, they only usually do their one little segment of the song, and then they're done. I've been going to Starbucks a lot lately because I don't want to chill in this room anymore. Um, Starbucks is a nice, peaceful, relaxing place to do homework and stuff. And this semester's a lot busier than last semester, so we're doing ballroom dancing and movement, and that's really tough because you have to do this frame and it hurts because it's be like all muscular and perfect and stuff. And every week for movement, we have a word and emotion that we have to go out and find somebody and recreate it like the first week was anger and then shock slash surprise and then the next one is determination we have to observe somebody and recreate it and it's a lot of fun but difficult at the same time it's a lot harder than it sounds Sunday. so we're outside to... this, right? waiting <laughs> a hair that's a hair <laughs> waiting in line <laughs> document this document it it's a hair to go I'm into <laughs> <laughs> to go into a um a special screening of Dear John because it's early until screening. Friday. It's still special. I said early. That's I know it's early God. and special. Oh, and I'm really like excited. That. And there's a lot of people, there's people in front of us, but hopefully we'll get in because we brought donations for the troops because we're cool like that. Where'd you get those from, Shh. That's for the paper. <laughs> and we're really excited. I'm here with Garo. Oh, hey, what's up? Christina. I wish you had like, catchphrases to make this moment Emily precise. and Mark. Don't forget me. We'll be doing my bed bug voice <laughs> for the entire night. No, 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 man. I love living in New York because we get to go to awesome things like this. So so it. Don't act like it this is my attempt at making my friend wall with my Polaroids. They all fell. So I need to get better tape. Bad tape. Bad tape. Bad tape. My finger with a knife. This is not very practical, this thing right here. Because the knife can still get through. And it cut me. And yes, this is a car's band aid. My roommate is awesome and has those kinds of band aids, and she helped me because I did not, I've never cut myself with a knife before, and I didn't know if I was gonna die or, or what was gonna happen to me. But I'm not dying, it didn't really hurt at all, really. Today, I was at class school for 1.30 to 9.30, and I had four classes. It was long. My first two classes, I had bad days in those classes. But then in voice and speech and movement with Barry McNabb, I bossed. In uh, voice and speech with Sarah, we're doing um, cold reading. So each week we have a different genre that we do, and we learn um, what types of stuff we need to do for that certain genre and this time we had crime and mystery and we did CSI scene We do the scene and then she tells us if she would cast us or give us a call back and usually um, 
she would just like say that she would give me a call back, but today she said she would actually cast me in that scene if this was an audition. So that was a big confidence booster because she would like the choices I made and my mouth resonance and I was really grounded, which I'm working really hard on doing and I accomplished that today. And then in movement class, I usually have Barry McNabb the dance class on Mondays at 9 a.m. So I roll in there dead and I'm like, I'm gonna dance, but I'm so tired. And I'm like this dead person. But today I was just like upbeat, like rocking out, ready to do whatever person. And Barry McNabb was like, where is this Kristen on Monday? We need to get her. We need to get her in class on Monday because this is the Kristen I like. This is the Kristen that works, the Kristen that's going to do well in this class. So I got to ask that Kristen to show up on Monday mornings instead of the dead Kristen who is not the life of the party. I need to be the life of the party in dance class to get good grades and do well. My mommy sent me some awesome things. Look. That's a little fluffy little mattress pad for my mattress. So it's nice and comfy because this is more comfy than my last mattress. But it's still not as comfy. And then look. Look at this. It's a mattress encasement premium Luna mattress protector for a twin size bed. It has a 10 year warranty. Look how nicely she's sleeping. Because it protects against dust mites and dun da 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 bed bugs. And it's made in the USA, which means it's legit. For peace of mind and better health and no itching and no awfulness again. Yay! I've decided to listen to those advertisements on the subway. Thank you, bed bug protectors. But don't mistake that as thinking the bed bugs. But sometimes, I guess bad things have to happen for you to think twice. So all you people who are going to college soon, or in a couple of years, or next year, or whatever you're doing. If you're going to stay in a dorm in New York, or really anywhere for that matter, get one of these. Because you don't want to suffer with these. They're slowly but surely going away. But for a while they were awful. Only you can prevent bed bugs. It doesn't work as well because I'm not a bear with a ranger hat. Mark my words. I am never, ever getting bed bugs ever again. Unless I have to do a commercial or play a part where my character has bed bugs but even then they aren't real and i am not a method actor i'm eating the breakfast of champions right now gushers kristen that is not a very healthy breakfast it's the breakfast of champions yeah, i have milanas wars and gushers gushers are good i'm back on milanas well, that sounds like a <laughs> but it's snowed for like a hot second i don't know if it's still snowing but it's been doing that a lot, and I don't like it very much. When the south gets a lot of snow and the north doesn't, that's that's a problem. Oh. Get yourself some Cheerios, Kristen. I just realized I have never shown you guys my school. It tastes better there. Here it is. Get yourself some honey nut Cheerios. No special cube chocolate. Oh, I have that right Kristen. But I got oh, sick before I ate gushers. Really yes. no, 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 that was a long time ago. Yes, I can. Hey, I just gave you one. So you you just ate candy for breakfast, Mr. EMT. He had cheerios before that. It's just a lounge. There's classrooms over. Past there. But yeah, isn't it pretty? Look at all the colors. That concludes vlog number 20. Um, I hope you all have an amazing week and are doing well. And I love and miss you. And this is Kristen's Super Short Show. Bam.